Hello, this is Mike McCloy with Twin Harbor Web Solutions. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to add a PayPal button to your website using a few quick, easy steps. First thing we're going to do is log into your PayPal account and go to the Merchant Services tab, which we're already on here. And you'll see when you get to this page, there's a number of different options for adding buttons. We'll go ahead and click Create Payment Buttons for your website. You'll also see your saved buttons are over here on the right. If you already have some, you can do that as well. But for this video, we'll go ahead and create a new one. So let's click, click uh, Create a Button right here. And that's going to walk us through creating one. So there's a number of different PayPal buttons you can create, and we won't go through all those right here. But uh, to keep it simple, we'll just do a donation button. So that way someone could enter and they want to donate some money. So we'll say Twin Harbor. You can put in a donation ID. And depending on what button you choose, there's a lot of different options. We're just going to use the default right here. So you step through this form. We'll go ahead and create the button. And what it's going to do, it's going to give us this chunk of code right here. If you click here, um, it highlights the whole thing. And what you could do is just copy that. We're going to need that in a second. So now this is the code to create this button on our page. So let's jump over to our demo site. We're going to put the button on this page, which is a Waypoint site. We'll click Edit Page. And we're going to click Add a Widget. And what we want is the Code Block widget. So let us put that code in there. Then we'll click on the gear. And here's where we're going to go ahead and right click and hit Paste. So this puts our form in here. One item that you have to make sure that you check is contain in iframe. And the reason for that is a form. Waypoint's written in ASP.NET. The whole page, top to bottom, is wrapped in a form, and you're not allowed to have a form within a form. So essentially, an iframe protects it from that. It puts it in a separate space. So um, all you have to do is remember to click contain in iframe. Then we'll click save. And you'll see here's our donate button. Now the way to test that is if you find that you click donate and nothing happens, you probably forgot to click the check an iframe box. So um, go back and save it that way. Then you click donate and it'll bring you right to the PayPal page which will take payment information from a customer. So you'll see it right here. And it's as simple as that.